Hi, I'm Tallulah Breslin with Montreux Voice, and I am so happy that you're here today with me to learn how to warm up and cool down your voice. There are a lot of different things that we can do to get your voice ready to practice, and this is a great way to start. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sit up straight in our chair. Our hips are gonna be even. Our vertebrae will be stacked one on top of one another. Our shoulders back and down, and our head in a nice neutral position. Sometimes our head will get off during the everyday type of tasks we do and a good way to make sure it's in good alignment is some head nods yes and no. So close our eyes. We're gonna shake our head. Yes. And now no. And then let our head naturally center and come back. And now we're very centered. The next thing that we're going to do to warm up our breath with our good posture is some square breathing. We're going to take some breaths in, hold, release, and rest. Breathe in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, and breathe out, two, three, four, and rest, two, three, Four, and breathe in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, and breathe out, two, three, four, and rest, two, three, four, and breathe in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, and breathe out, two, three, four, and rest two, three, four. These breaths are a great thing to do at any time to get you back in your body and thinking straight, ready to work on your voice. Next thing we're going to do some open throat sighs, long and slow. Ah. Ah. some woes nice and slowly let out your sound whoa 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 good next we want to stretch I like to have a stretch that I do in my chair so that I can do it with my clients while we're working virtually together, but you're basically trying to open up all the muscles that we use to breathe and speak so we can stretch up to the ceiling, slowly bending down to the floor, and then slowly come back up one vertebrae at a time, stretch to the side, open up reach up nice we're basically with all of our stretching we're looking to get everything nice and open you can do some head rolls we can do some shoulder rolls and forward we can stretch our tongue so when we're trying to stretch our tongue we're gonna yawn might feel like a real yawn and what we want to do is we want to pull the back of our tongue all the way to the back of our mouth so this isn't curling our tongue it's pulling the back all the way back turns into a real yawn Alright, get in our mouth warmed up. So next we're going to have our scrunch and smiles. So we're going to push our lips as far forward as they'll go and then make a big smile back and forth, keeping our teeth lightly closed or clenched. Great. 
last little stretch is we're going to chew a really big piece of gum. You can use your tongue to move it around, but just pretend like it's nice and big and you're working your jaw. There we go. We got everything moving in our mouth, our face, our body. We're nice and stretched. The next thing is we want to make sure that one half of our body is the same as the other. Nice and relaxed, no tension. And a really good way to go about that is massage. So we're going to take these two fingers, the third and fourth finger, and we're going to do nice circles starting in our temples and work our way down the side of our face. We can open and close our jaw and massage that point where we feel the hinge and massage down the side of our neck and let's feel for our pulse. You'll find if you feel around there'll be a point where your pulse is more easily felt than anywhere else. That's on top of our artery and we want to massage in front of or behind. So we found our artery. Now let's try. We're going to scoot our larynx to the side, massage up and down behind it. And the other side. Careful if you have any nails. You'll hear perhaps some crunchiness. If you move your larynx side to side, but that's okay. We're just looking to find tension. You can massage under your jawline. Try resting your elbow on your desk and letting go walk back from that hard bone until it's soft and then just resting. You're not moving your fingers. And stay there and let it relax. Back a little and relax there. And then we're just rubbing. I like all along the front. Um, sometimes we get tight with our computers these days. We can squeeze on the sides of our shoulders, pinch and hold. Any place that we notice that it's different on one side than the other, that's where we want to massage and try to work out the tension. And now keeping our good stacked posture, let's do some more vocal warm-ups. The next thing that we're going to do are some continuous phrases. For these, we have our voice on, so it doesn't have the usual rhythm of speech because we're keeping our voice going. Well, well, well. Who are you? My mama makes muffins. Name that tune. Late for class. Once upon a time. Great. Now we're going to do some raspberries. These are different exercises we can do with our mouth less open. So a really easy way, if you're having trouble with your lip trills or raspberries, lick your lips and then just find the right spot to put a little pressure with your finger. You can also do them at the same pitch. And it takes a balance. That is, raspberries are one of the best things that you can do to get your your voice in balance and warmed up. All right, now let's do some small sounds. If you have just a little bit of time to warm up your voice, or if you're starting to get fatigued, these small sounds make your voice happy. Remember, our voice wants to be used. N. L. O. And then an ing, like in the end of walk ing. Ing. And then a z, like a b. Z. A v, like Victor. And then the zh that you hear in the middle of measure. Zzzz. 
great. Now we're gonna finish up our vocal warm up with some focus sounds that are really easy ways of closing our true vocal folds, the part of our voice that makes sound. First, some tiny whimpers. And then up high, tiny, tiny puppy dog whimpers. Now this next set, we're gonna say each word as clearly as we can and as quickly as we can. So don't go so fast that you start tripping over your words, but do try to speed it up a little. The first word is meam. Meam, 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 meam. Next, ganga. Ganga, 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 ganga. And money, 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 money. And our last quick word, noido, 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 noido. I'm guessing if one tripped you up, it was that one. The very last part of our vocal warm up, getting some tilt on, a toddler whine. I don't wanna, oh man. But I don't wanna, oh man. Really make sure you whine. I don't wanna, oh man. That was great. If you've walked through all the steps of this vocal warm up, you should be ready to go. A good way to check if you're warmed up, remember that ing sound, ing? You can try doing a siren where you go up and down your range. E your goal is to be able to have a full range with that ing without getting stuck, having your sound stop. That lets you know that your voice is ready to work for you. Thank you again. I'm putting this video up on YouTube to help you, and I would love it if you subscribed to my channel and clicked like. I would, I would definitely appreciate seeing some people watching it, and I hope that this helps you. Have a lovely rest of your day, and I look forward to chatting with you about voice more soon.